Do you want to learn all the basic terms of Cakewalk Sonar and understand a bit about what they are? In this video, we'll cover just that. Hi, my name is Vishal Veera from Crossview Productions. If you're watching this video, you are likely a beginner to Cakewalk Sonar. If yes, I have news for you. I have put together a complete Cakewalk Sonar course that will teach you the ins and outs of this amazing free door. What's better is that this course costs less than a night of bad pizza and regret. Except, instead of indigestion, you get musical wisdom. Worth it, right? Go ahead, click the link in the description. Now, when you first open Cakewalk Sonar, I'm sure that it would look something like this. And boy, is this overwhelming. There are a bunch of buttons, tracks, and windows that you can barely make any sense of. In today's video, I will try to give you a basic understanding of the different terminologies that are used to describe different things in Cakewalk Sonar, what all of these windows are called, and we'll scratch the surface of what some of these things are and how they can help you. Let us begin by talking about tracks in Cakewalk Sonar. If you pay attention, you will see that there are three tracks in my project right now. The first one is audio track. An audio track in Cakewalk Sonar can only be used to hold and record audio data. It cannot and will not hold any other type of data. The second type of track that we have here is the MIDI track. And like you can see, a MIDI track can only hold MIDI clips and record them. Just like the audio track, a MIDI track cannot hold any other type of clip except for MIDI. The third type of track that we have over here is an instrument track. With the help of an instrument track, you can choose the instrument that you want to introduce in your Cakewalk Sonar project. As an example, I have added the default piano that Cakewalk Sonar offers is called Cakewalk TTS. And if I want, I can play this piano with the help of the MIDI information on my MIDI track. An instrument track, unlike audio and MIDI, can hold any type of clip, but can record only MIDI. Let's now move on and take a look at the interface elements. Towards the left, you have this window that is called the inspector window. The entire job of the inspector window is to inspect what's going on in your project. The window in between is where you will be spending the most of your time inside this door. And this is what I call the workspace. And it is also called the track view. Towards the right, you have an important window in Cakewalk Sonar. And this is called the browser. The browser window helps you browse several different things inside Cakewalk. Apart from these, you have the view window with the help of which you can take a look at the different views inside your door. The view that I'm currently looking at is called the console view. The console view holds some really important feeders that can help you control the way your project sounds. Let us now take a look at important track elements. So, any data block that you have in your Sonar project is called a clip. As an example, on this MIDI file, I have this one data block that I can select and give it any type of treatment that I want. In this example, this clip will be called a MIDI clip because it holds MIDI data. Apart from clips, we have track headers. A track header is this part of the track with all these different controls that help handle the track. Finally, we have this part of the track which is called the FX bin. The FX bin will hold all the different effects that will help you make your track sound a certain way. Let us now take a look at the different tools and functions. 
At the top, we have all these different tools that help you carry out a certain function in Cakewalk Sonar. The first tool here is the Smart Tool, which is essentially a combination of all the other tools in Cakewalk Sonar. The next tool here is the Select Tool, and this will help you select certain pieces of your project or clips. The Move Tool will help you move clips around in your project. The Edit Tool here will help you edit clips in a certain way. This will probably not sound very helpful, but we are scratching the surface of something really complex over here. Let us talk about the different terms used in recording. The first term that is used quite often is called arming a track. Arming a track prepares it for recording. The second term is input monitoring and this helps you hear yourself while recording. Next, we have punch in and punch out, which helps you record between certain points in your project. This button here is called the metronome, and this is a ticking sound, which helps you stay in time when you're recording. Next, let us take a look at instruments and effects. The first term that I want you to be familiar with is VST plugins. VST plugins are virtual instruments or effects that are built for your door. In fact, the Cakewalk TTS that we have over here is an example of a VST plugin. Next, we have something called the Pro Channel. The Pro Channel is a built-in channel strip with EQ, compression, and a lot more. So, those were some of the basic terms that are used in Cakewalk Sonar and a bit about what each of these are. If you want to learn all of this stuff in greater detail, I would highly recommend that you check out the course by following the link down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time.